Hi everyone, I'm Marion Tim. Check out Max Rose Baldur Escape 3 review in quotation marks. I cast bullets, which admittedly is probably a mod for this game, and if it's not, I would be very disappointed. I have played this game. I also haven't beaten this game because I got distracted painting and uh that's a rabbit hole I have not been able to get out of yet. More importantly, I'm just going to jump right in because it's Max Orb, it's Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to like this and also I am heavily caffeinated right now, so I might be able to keep up with anything Maxor does. I say knowing full well that that is absolutely batshit impossible, and I'm just psyching myself out. Yeah. Delusion to the side, we're going to jump right into it. You guys know the deal. Link below, video, hit it up. Let's get started. This video is going to spoil the... What the hell did they do to his face? It's like they gave him... It's probably a Botox mod. That That is... That is hard to look at. Entire game. Oh, wait, what did that say down there? All my words? That was just a disclaimer. No. Entire video game. All my videos are really fast and I want you to be alive. This contains flashing lights. Has he ever acknowledged that in the previous videos? I thought it's like, oh, yeah, but not the entire I want you to be alive thing. Did someone actually... Uh, yeah, I don't want to think about that. I'll freak myself. Baldur's Gate 3 is possibly the funniest game ever made. And I do funniest. not think it actually intends to be. Because it's actually... Okay, was that the... I don't remember the... Ever ah. made. And I Just disintegrated a guy? It was the rock? What the... Wait, did that say break? Kobe. Oh, Kobe! Kobe! I thought it was going B for a second. My mind's on food right now. Yeah. Because it's actually trying to be really gay, taking place in a fantasy Only? world where four Honestly, of I was just trying to be horny. are able to play on the same day. This game faithfully and hilariously recreates. <sighs> the fantasy of being able to play on the same day, that's. That's Max War breaking character and making a completely true statement that is. I wasn't expecting this one to hit home already. God damn you, man. I detracted trace amounts of piss in the public pool. Turn purple and foam at the m mouth. I scream as a life checks me with piss antidote. <laughs> what the fuck, the man? the d experience. All the way down to watching your friends paint the entire ground of their camp with your combustible blood. Which, uh, turns what? out, can act as the fuse for a bomb. And that is just the beginning. Seriously? Of the yeah, okay, the mom got it that this game has to offer because in the world of Baldur's Gate anything is possible and everything Including is determined to be via dice roll rolling to get away with arrogant kind arrogant crimes <laughs> uh, this is the reason I stopped playing I kept getting ones it, it was like I had a mod on making it only once and it just it wasn't it's good to see that the game holds true to my normal D&D &D rolling skills yeah, also, he had something else down here. Gate, <laughs> anything is possible. Would that say deodorant? Cast deodorant on Smash Player. Ah, uh, that so, is accurate. And everything is determined to... My poop my pants challenge. If you can make me cry or poop my pants through the computer, I'll apologize to everyone who ever has been mad at me. You know, there's going to be someone taking him up on this. And that is a can of words he probably shouldn't have opened because he's going to get a lot of weirdy. No, no, he's probably already getting the same amount of weirdy emails as it is. It's probably not a change. Via dice roll. Oh and God. yes, that does determine whether or not you're going to be Ships? transformed into cats. What? Four turns before the building explodes. What? I think this is. Ooh, low polygon count. Also, enters N64 mode. That. It would actually be really high quality for N64, and it still hurts to look at. You could be turned into a cat while trying to escape an exploding building. I did not get that it's far the best yet. Game ever made, and I'm not even exaggerating. But before we get our yourself. amazing adventures, we have to choose our characters very carefully. We've got Asterian, the Dark Urge, Squid Game, Huggy Wuggy. I mean, admittedly, I've seen a few people without mods making characters who look like that, so this is not really a joke. Also, I heard Dark Urge is technically the one who's supposed to be the canon character, and you just don't have to choose him. All the customization you can think of for my human male fighter. Yeah. But today, we're going to be playing as joking, that's usual. Ongyat Riz King, a they-them wild magic sorcerer with absolutely unnatural charisma. The weirdest part here, everything he just said is actually perfectly acceptable for a wild magic sorcerer. To be absolutely insane, ridiculous, stupid... 
completely unironically the most insane piece of bullshit you can ever imagine. Yeah, no, makes sense. Sits it, it fits. And the game can't do it credit because they are not allowed to install a mod for a completely unrelated system that doesn't involve a D10,000 days table for wild magic surges. I mean, is that stupid, completely irrelevant, and absolutely game-breaking? Yes. But goddamn, that completely unrelated mod that has nothing to do with D&D except for the fact that people use it is probably my favorite part about D&D. The part where you just make it the fuck up. Charisma is so powerful that I convinced a boss to kill his minions, to kill his dog, to kill himself. Then convinced him Seriously? to kill against the forces of Satan 30 hours after I sent him to hell. Coincidentally, on God Riz King is... Wait, you can actually do that? I think I might need to make a new character for Riz. Did he... Did he accidentally break the game by trying to make a meme character, but the meme was too powerful? The meme is strong with this one. Not a smart man. My playthrough was classified as morally ambiguous because I usually did the right thing very badly. You're probably wondering so right about now. Max or why are you I mean, is there any other type of D&D &D party? There's the people who try and be evil but really don't know what evil is. And then there's the people who know what evil is and they have fun with it. Those are the small percentage of people who know what they're doing. And then there's everyone else who's like, I'm helping. Stop helping. If you know that party, you've played D&D &D more than once. Are you speaking to a sentient rat in hell? Yes, I that is a good question with a very bad answer. I thought it would be really funny to sell my soul to Lucifer and then what? break into his house, kill his incubus that he uses to have sex with himself, steal my soul yeah. back along with everything worth money, which is the real reason that I'm here. Make a break for it just in time to get caught and be forced to kill Satan, who, by the way, the has 666 six, six HP and sings about how he's going to kill you like a Disney villain. Was this the ethical course of action? Maybe, but in retrospect, I did not think I would get caught. So, yeah. on top of his immaculate riz and dubious ethical success, the most important detail of Ongiak Riz King is that he is a wild magic sorcerer, which is definitely a class to choose. Yeah! For a moment Wait, that you what would... did that say? Also, did he just put in a few verses from God Shattering Star in there? Odd choice. I am feeling very sheerful. He turned someone into a sheep. Imagine for a moment that you and your 20 allies are trying to push past a narrow corridor when what? me and the fellows cast a yep. swarm God, of shattering beast, star. black tentacles and a goopy fart cloud which kills your entire team before you are able to see anything. I call this strategy the fucked up hentai. Now if that was- Admittedly again this would be more of the standard D&D &D group pattern. <laughs> Uh, this is what you call an instant TPK, except in this game, you can reset and then still do it again because you didn't learn anything. To hypothetically, I'm not projecting. you would theoretically accuse me of a lot of bullshit, to which I would respond with, yes, officer. Wait, what was that down there? The cops grouse, take off the, the os jeans, citizen. I comply, revealing the full length of my denim tattoos on both legs. The cop screams, defeated. Did an AI write that or something? What? Yes, officer. I did just disintegrate that child. And what's more, I have committed crimes you can't even charge me for. Say hello to the spell, Feign Death, what? which works by placing your allies into a coma. This, I would argue, is not a very useful spell. But oh no, it sounds say, hilarious. Give all my money away to a lucky merchant. Then he would trust me enough to initiate nap time. And after carefully concealing my presence in a conspicuous dark blob, I will be able to steal my money back plus interest. And what's more, I get a fucking discount next time I show up. Is combat required? So they basically did the old fashioned Skyrim bucket on the head method, but made it easier and through completely legitimate means rather than taking advantage of the game system itself. It's just how the game is built to work that way. I mean, I knew this game was insane, and that's why I enjoyed playing it before I stopped. Because admittedly, my room got into be a bigger sauna than it is already. It's a very intensive game on a system that actually can support it. And goddamn, does it get hot.
I mean, it would be a problem if I can open the fucking door, but then the cats eat the wire, so I can't do that. Why are you just this game is hurting me now. Thought. Are you perhaps getting Max, tired? Why are you making me wish I could play this game without burning up? Then, my friend, look no further than the what? globe of invulnerability, what? which does exactly what you think it does a little too well. The only caveat being that the invulnerability happens to work on enemies, and they tend to see invulnerability as an advantage. Meaning, I mean, literally yes. Literally every fight that I use it in devolves into the funny friendship circle. Say, for instance, <laughs> that you were an enemy whose entire purpose is to explode yourself. If you happen to wander into the orb of comedy, you would be forced to unsuccessfully activate your bomb vest 20 times in a row. He can re-bomb himself? That I cannot provide you. Honestly, if you're creative enough, you don't even have to play most combat encounters. I once fought a boss that began every fight by instantly killing me. Now, most normal people in this situation would reload the game, try some other quests, literally anything that uses your brain. So he got a. St I don't. What? Well, people in this situation would. What were the characters' names he chose? Oh, he's just going the regular names. That is a lot of. I was much earlier level than this. Would reload the game. They're all just named Gay and <laughs> Sheep, Polymorph, Wild, Petrified, Wild Magic, Spawn, Hostile, Spec. Try some other quests. This is literally poison. This is literally poison. He has three hours to live. Donate to my Patreon to help. Oh my god. Because people actually put out videos of people drinking stupid shits like, hey, give me money or this guy dies. Or my cat dies. Or my goldfish dies. Or I'm going to eat this random rabbit. Those are all real examples that have been used. You can look them up. Please don't, though. They're disturbing. Literally anything that uses your brain. But I am not normal people. I must is she? How else do you think this video gets made? The neurotypicals couldn't do this shit. Yeah. So instead, we kind are going to cleverly sneak up on him with my entire party, then cast fear on him, forcing the men to flee while me and the fellows beat him to death with hammers. Another time, I was stuck Seriously? in a difficult that encounter with an invincible doom spider, at which point I transformed him into a more reasonable animal and forgot about him for the rest of the fight. Of course, yeah. magic doesn't always... Admittedly, he just used polymorph correctly. The best way to use Polymorph, find an enemy that's not immune to it, who you can't beat. Turn it into something that you don't need to worry about in the time that it takes the hour-long spell to drop. And then just ignore them, because you can just throw them off an edge and they take fall damage, and then the extra damage just carries over. Not sure if that does it in the game, but also, it's an hour-long spell in, well, D&D &D terms. And I'm not sure if it is in also Baldur's Gate 3 terms. If it is, still overpowered. It's have to be used for combat. Or something. Sometimes it can be used for productive things like what? remote detonation. Imagine for a moment that mm. you were tasked with solving a murder because the elephant police are being racist. What? Not against non elephants, mind you, just immigrants. My guy is a, a reactionary rant soda. You would be able to what? quickly resolve this situation by racist necromancy and flying elephant. the murder victim who killed them. Alternatively, if I wanted to they say don't. kill everyone in the goblin camp. I hate that it took me this long to realize that the image he's using, the typeface whenever he goes to a new location, is literally just Elden Ring or the Dark Souls franchise. Can can I pretend I noticed that sooner? Because I just... Yeah, that's on me for not getting it. Without conventional methods, I could simply Dead. cast Speak With Animals and gently convince the local spiders to begin an erected race war. In fact... What? I'm sorry. Taco... Bell bong. Oh, this is, yeah. You could actually convince them to fight for you. I didn't know you could do that. Druid overpowered? Click this post to spiritually align yourself with hot nacho, the devilishly delightful blend of actual nacho spices imported from Darknet. Oh, God. To begin an erected race. So, over. standard fact, Taco Bell food, yeah. This on any animal in the game. Any has a fucking brain aneurysm. Oh, my God. If the stingray that killed Steve Irwin tried to kill me, I would bust its ass and crumple it up like newspaper. <laughs> Says the little dog with the bow in the head. game, including threatening rats into revealing their cheese location. Seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, I have defibrillator paddles strapped to each ass cheek, and I'm ready to bring out <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, oh, that is a standard rat. Their cheese location, or the cat that narrates like a noir detective. Although I do think- I have- I have a new goal. I just need to get to the rat. No, sorry, the cat that noir- noirs. 
Why is that a thing and why haven't I known about it? The place where some people it walk backwards. It is very strange that I don't have to cast it before speaking to gnomes. What? But honestly, out of all the magical <laughs> items you can obtain in this game, my favorite was definitely the Gamer Sup's energy drinks because it gives my character enough energy to leap 50 feet through the air and... I'm assuming this is an ad. But with how many weird things are in this game, I wouldn't even be surprised if there was a random Easter egg that actually was exactly that because they're just a sponsor of the game's production for all I know. And that could be entirely true and I don't know. It's probably not. It's definitely an ad or a mod. Ad or a mod. It can go either way. Take extra Dead. actions per turn. It uh, gets mailed to you as this cool alchemy powder so you can yeah. save on gold and craft it into useful consumables. <laughs> Gamer Subs yep. has all kinds of cool spells like Grandpa's Ashes, yes. Guacamole Gamer Part 9000, and my personal favorite, Lean. These are actual flavor names. Seriously? We're also working on getting you guys an official Maxor Cup. This is not the official Maxor Cup. Let's be honest, if we actually have an official Maxor Cup, it's just going to be so many different memes posted on top of each other so you can't actually tell what you're looking at. It just looks like generic static until you get really close and you realize, oh, I now have OCD for obsessing over this. I would put boobs on it, but if you want other That's cups it. with boobs on them, you can find yeah. the shop for them here in Description Alley, right next to the subscribe store, and use code oh. Maxor for 10% off all spells. I am not responsible for what comes after. Probably actually a mod in the game if it isn't. Is there Baltimore? Spread your ass <laughs> open, dude. You can do the rump shaker, huh? The fuck? Did he get someone to record that or is that from in game? Maxwell usually gets people to record things, and I would like to believe he had someone to record that, but this game has enough weird shit, it might actually be in game voices. If you know, let me know in the comments. This car kicks ass! Jesus Dead. Christ. Just saw a wizarding <laughs> duel outside Walgreens. One wizard cast a bullet at the other and stole his magical herbs. Sound Turns normal? out Gale wasn't actually a crip. Or maybe now he is. Wizarding life truly is amazing Ooh. out here in Pennsylvania. Because when Kingston? you join the Wild Magic Gang, you aren't just making a character. You're making a mistake. Yes, yes you are. Unfortunately, everyone else gets to deal with it more than you do. Wild magic sorcerers have a random chance to select an effect from a list of 100. Yeah! As long as you install the mod that adds 80. Wait, the actual game is only down to 20? And he chose a mod that only added 80. Maxor, I am actually disappointed in you. Take the one that breaks your system. Every spell my character cast was a guarantee that something will happen, and whether or not I wanted that to happen is a different story entirely. Consider the scenario that you and your heroic party are desperately trying to escape an underwater prison. That. And no, this time it wasn't for bestiality. What? It was for hate crimes. You have five turns to escape before your character reenacts the Titanic. This is when you make oh, the critical even know mistake of casting a spell, which triggers the random... Oh, so he actually did that by accident. It wasn't a time thing in the actual game. This is, ah, bin and tang. Ow. That actually really hurt. So he actually, because of his own mods to have everything go off, accidentally turned them all into cats. And can cats climb up the ladder? Probably? I don't know. Effect of lock all doors, magically transforming nope. this exploding prison into an exploding coffin. That is a reload. Yeah. Or how about the time that I was tasked with this holding onto place? a torch under penalty of death, whereupon the game decided that it would be really funny if I was banished to another dimension because- Wait, he just- what? <laughs> I need to see that again. Also, if that's the part of the wild magic search, you are banished for two turns and can't take actions bonus. Oh yeah, it's basically just banished for two turns. And there's all the enemies coming in. Because it would be <laughs> even funnier if I happened to- Wait, what did that say? Just sold a dwarf a gram of nightshade stems and oregano. Told them, told that blustering fool it was elven moongrass. Oh my god. I happen to reload the game and immediately get petrified. Okay, Damn. look, I am it's exaggerating a little bit here. Are you? All, the chances of you transforming into an ovine on your third try would be pretty low. Please don't happen on the fourth as well. Of course, wild magic doesn't always have to ruin the game. Sometimes it can do really helpful things. I like know. Makes it more fun to me. My character with. You are cursed to become a clown. This is one of the ones they added. Plus one charisma, up to twenty. Immunity from Tasha's hideous laughter. Wait, 
Why does becoming a clown add charisma? It should give you a natural fear effect. I know what I said and I stand by it. The clown curse, which is, by every metric, an objective upgrade. I had an is it? emotional cutscene after I got this in. I'm sure it made everyone feel better. Here we have the fight with the giant robot where I accidentally transformed myself into a cheese wheel. This gives what? us all kinds of new abilities like cheesy smell, which would be really good if uh, the robots could smell. Now, yeah. due to the obvious limitations of my class, Baldur's Gate 3 provides a myriad of options for customization, leveling, and companions. Who, oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on the fact that there's cheese wheel turning into as an option, and it has built-in spells already. Whoever built that mod, I'm assuming the one that added 80 other options to Wild Magic, they're downright impressive. My own joking aside for wishing there was a D10,000 one represented, that's actually really impressive they have that many extra spells with that much customization in-game. Way ...can be respected into any other class, making oh. strategies like the four-man gambling squad and Jurassic Park. You could actually do the Jurassic Park spells here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... As soon as this video ends, you can more or less assume I'm going to waste an entire day playing Baldur's Gate 3 at this point. It, it, it's just going to happen. Completely I have possible, no choice. but not exactly viable. Personally, eh, I find it viable. completely bullshit that I do not get an intimidation bonus for walking into the bank with three fucking velociraptors. If there's not a mod for that already, there should be because... Admittedly, three Velociraptors in Baldur's Gate 3, while scary, doesn't compare to literally all the other bullshit you could pull, so maybe it does make sense. Like, do you see this very often? So maybe the true heart of the Actually, Baldur's yeah. Gate 3 experience, we have to make some friends and eventually have sex with most of them. Honestly, yeah. it's uh, pretty easy to forget that this game has combat. Personally, though, I didn't get with any of them. Really? Mostly because I can't show it, but also because no. I was interested in a more... Acquired taste. That's right, baby. Gay sex with Squidward. I Does it count as gay if they're technically only a single type of morphology? I have no idea. Also, I heard about this. I thought that was a joke. I'm going to tell myself that he's modding the game right now, even though I know it's not at this point, and I'm still kind of freaked out by that. I always dreamed of touching those Squidward tentacles as I played his clarinet. Also, if you don't have, have sex that? with anyone human, the camp skeleton just insults you for having no bitches. And thus, thou art alone. Damn! Shadowheart. That wasn't a mod? He just put that in there? When the game tells you that you're too prudish, and considering the early game was intention or sorry, unintentionally broken to wait romance options incredibly fast, and then they fixed it later. Yeah, he had to be intentionally trying then. More affectionately referred to as Shart is a cleric of Shar that I spent the oh. entire game gaslighting into a religious fundamentalist. Then as soon as that became slightly inconvenient. Uh why would you have to gaslight her? She was starting that way. Like, literally, wasn't she already kind of the chosen of, so she had to be, by default, the religious fundamentalist of that entire phrase? Or faction? This is probably one of those, if I play the game, I know why it's silly. Beat her to death with my entire party so she badly her? that I could not revive the body for round two. Now, she can do that? survived if I actually trusted her, but unfortunately, she is a white woman. And I don't trust those. Gail is an aggressively bisexual... I thought he was... I thought she was an elf. Eh, whatever. Wizard with a new Wait, what did that say? It might be out of spells, but I'm not out of shells. Does he actually get the gun? What is wrong with his arm in this? It's a weird pause time, but that is that, that's actually one of the weirdest things I've seen so far. Two fingers, it's bent the wrong way. It doesn't even look like it's a mod. He did it, just is weird. A nuclear bomb inside of his chest. Yeah. And, uh... It wants me to feed it boots. Now, Gale claims this is because of his relationship with an actual goddess. Yeah! Also, for anyone here, I get dozens of compliments, wait, about my perfect ears every day. It's like, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to eat a bagel in my car, and you do this. Yes. Thank you from, wait, Blue, Ar for being born? From Blue? I have no idea what this is a reference to. I do know that the bomb in his chest is related to the fastest speed run you can get in Baldur's Gate 3 for any completion whatsoever. 
and it's also one of the most unsatisfying, but I haven't looked up anymore because I realized what I was reading, I was like, I should probably avoid this. This, but I don't believe him. Not because that's completely insane, but because I've seen how Gale behaves around me. Yeah. Also, for anyone who does a lot of D&D, you know this character type. This is the person who wrote up the backstory that's incredible and hit gods and demons that they have come down to your level and you have walked among the mortals and you are level one and you can't even kill a rat. Gale is that character played straight. I kind of love it. This motherfucker is gay. And since I've covered all this game's wacky and funny spells, I decided that I was going to respect Gale into a barbarian and give him a gun. This wizard may be out of spells, but he is not out of spells. Will is a daring and noble warlock who is constantly told what to do and treated like a dog by a demon girl. Wait, he's a warlock? Oh, for some reason I thought he was just a fighter. I never actually got there. Wait, once again, the legal incest Chris somehow hijacked the protest I organized to ban sorcerers from Congress. Ah, oh, yeah, all those congressional sorcerers. Let's be honest, if we didn't want sorcerers, we wouldn't allow dragons to have so many offspring that cre uh, keep making them. Also, the funny part is everything I just said is actually canonical to D&D, &D, so yeah, don't think about it too hard. So I don't understand why he doesn't enjoy that. This game's writing is unrealistic. Lazel is a Gith Yankee fighter who, within three seconds of speaking to her, made me decide that yes, I am going to do a racist character today. And over the course of our adventure, Lazel surprised. I mean, this is one of the few games where that is actually more canonically optional. Because, you know, the standard approach to you see a drow is, oh fuck, oh fuck, a drow! Because anyone who doesn't, doesn't know what they do. The more you learn about them, the more you realize they are meant to be hated. And I don't mean that by the creators. They were meant that way, of course. But also in-universe. In-universe, their god made them hateable. It's fucked up. And if you don't know why I'm saying that specifically, there are videos. And you should not watch them when in a dark place. Emotionally, metaphorically, or literally. They're, um... There's a reason I'm not going into detail, because all of them involve things that YouTube does not appreciate, and I have no idea how those videos are still up on YouTube. They're good, but also they're fucked up, man. Surprised and shocked me by uh, never failing to prove my racism hey. correct. Asterion is a... Uh, sorry, I forgot I installed that mod. Asterion that was is unintentional. a devilishly handsome rogue that specializes oh, in giving enemies word. the devious back shots. This is mostly because Asterion happens to be a literal vampire, which yeah, never really comes up much. when I sacrifice 7,000 children to him to create the ultimate life form. Shadow? Yeah, I promise the scene isn't good. I couldn't resist the temptation to auto-tune his cries. Why? Okay. Unfortunately, this did basically nothing as Asterion proceeded to walk down the hall and get his ass beat to death with hammers. Because Seriously? out of all the abilities our sacrifice could have given us, Asterion had graciously received the power to continue being useless. Though, to be fair to Asterion, no- Seriously? You actually get all those buffs and they're random, or are they actually guaranteed? That's... It almost seems like the game is trying to tell you, by the way, all that sacrifice, all that horror. Yeah, no. But I can't tell if that's Max or just getting a random roll or a mod that didn't install right. And honestly, I'm not sure which one I would prefer. Also, I want to check out what he just had right there. Controls the camera like it's the office. I know the office with the capitalized T would be for the show, but I don't get the reference. Like, I don't get what that means. I haven't watched The Office, so that's probably why. In a, no ultimate vampire twink is going to kill five full-blood Texans on their fifth medevo. And Carlac yeah. is a very hot barbarian that I use throughout the game as a punching bag. One time, so, Carlac got barbarian. so mad that she randomly destroyed every box in a 10-meter radius, repeatedly setting the entire party on fire until we fucking died. Standard barbarian. Also, using a barbarian as the punchy bag is kind of accurate because while you think barbarian axe smash makes them the good damage dealer, they're actually the tank. Yeah, I know what I said. If you do it right, they are a better tank than the class designed to be a tank. And by that, I mean anyone else who has any ability to stay alive. It was at this moment I decided that Carlac was going to be the one to disarm every trap in the game for me. Make sure to grab if you have enough health to survive it. With our powers combined, we are the uh, world's shittiest polycule. <laughs> 
that. We're having so much fun without Shadow Hearts. Oh, because so she died in that episode. The world's shittiest polygon. It naturally falls to us. Wait, what? That's did he actually just not bring her the entire time because of that. It's probably one of the other saves. I may not be queer phobic, but I'm still racist. God damn it, Maxor. It naturally falls to us to combat the forces of Big Straight and stop the Squidward Ethnostate. Technically, that is entirely how their entire species works. Except I've been told there's a few that aren't evil, but then they're also kind of intentionally evil. It's weird. Mostly by accident, because if there's one thing that motivates me more actually than protecting my potential investments, it is what? stealing from them. Yes, sir. Stealing it is certainly bad if the only bank in the city gets robbed. But don't worry. I conducted a thorough investigation in my camp. And I have There's no, no cap evidence anymore. of wrongdoing. Thank you, Golders Gate 3 are, for lack of a better term, what? fucking insane, both in their scope and in content. Mostly the content, with multiple contingencies. Option one, do not betray the giant spider. Option two, betray the giant spider and die. Yeah. The second one's sometimes interesting because you can come back from death. For failure, partial success, or the classic unrestricted Japanese war crimes. Truly, the sky is the limit in Baldur's Gate. And oh, the only thing preventing you from achieving your dreams are the consequences of your actions. If, for instance, you were to ride the calamari carousel, what? a future character will roast you for your crimes against God in front of your friends. Your choices matter in Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Wait, you survive the encounter with the Illithid? I was not expecting that part. That is... I'll be honest, I didn't even know they could do that. I thought they kind of just morphed into something that literally didn't have those bits anymore. One time, I decided to visit the circus so I could piss off the local genie what? so badly that he sends me to Jurassic Park. Seriously? But, uh, that's not important right now. Is that where you got the Velociraptors? The non-insane part of the circus, we find ourselves enraptured by the performance of Dribbles the Clown. The only problem being the that while safer. investigating a series of murders by shapeshifters, I had already met Dribbles the Clown, and I was carrying his severed torso in my what? inventory. Safekeeping. So, despite knowing the identity of my gang stalkers, I decided to. How come a baby born with a foot in its brain is considered a miracle baby, but I get my dick stuck in a drawer? It's just some asshole. Oh, you know, there's probably someone out there going, like, yeah, that happened to me. I was going to make a joke about that, but then it, it, it's probably true. Yeah, that just causes me pain. To send a staring to the stage anyways, mainly because I thought it would be funny. Clown. And I was not disappointed. This guy should open a YouTube channel where he promotes an energy drink he intentionally poisons. Now you're- I mean, is it bad that I can think of a few people who would do that already? Jake Paul. And oh, that's not entirely fair. Maybe it's Logan. I can never tell which one's which. Gonna want to be careful after doing this quest, because unbeknownst to you, one of your crewmates has been replaced by an imposter. My and God. worst of all, I am kind of into this. What? Why is he kind of into this? Rat check. Unfollow me if you're a sleazy low-down rat. I will knock your block off. I respect honor, truth, in words and action. I am kind of... Breaks neck again. Into this. What? Jesus Christ, this man at the library is looking in the Lowe's common homepage instead of gaining a... What? I'm going to upload a pic of this. What? Can you shapeshift yourself pregnant? So, whether you know it or not, ah, you are fashion. going to be playing Among Us for the next 10 hours. And honestly, playing as the imposter is so much more fun. Which is why, instead of stopping the killings, I decided that I was going to kill it myself. Everyone. And eventually join the blood cults by bathing in the blood of the racist elephant to bring about a new future of crimson despair. Shapeshifters oh. are usually multiracial by definition. Well, damn. What I'm trying to say with these long anecdotes is that, a death is that clown? you never just go to the circus in this game. You become or, the forbid, circus. Speak to a clown. Though you are watching this YouTube video, which is close. Repost. I mean, he's not. That's only Act One. Oh, it's back to the beginning of Act One. If you want to nail a porcupine to your neighbor's boss. What? I had to have misheard that. Which is close. Repost. If you want to nail a porcupine to your neighbor's boss.
I was going to make a joke about how if I Googled that in the word Florida, I'd probably get a story of it. But then I realized it's Florida. If it hasn't become a normal thing there and not it worth reporting on anymore, I would be surprised at this point. They're just blowing Welcome everything up. Welcome to the first major dungeon of the game, appropriately oh. named Central London. Wait, what was that thing before? God save the king, Kazoo MP3. And like the actual London, it is unfortunately filled with the English. You can uh, really tell because you can't understand anyone and the food is inedible. It is here that Baldur's Gate really shines as a game where you can do almost anything. I'm sure you and can unlucky developer will be forced to code it. There are three targets for you to kill in the goblin camp, or if you're bad enough, several dozen, each with their own personalities, weaknesses, and premium cheese strategies. Needless to say, uh, this Jeez channel is not going to offer you any good advice. After Did he just have bring up a gun option? Admittedly, bring a gun is probably a great option if you have that mod. After all, there's a I lot of guide videos for this game alongside race tier lists. So while I'm not going to be sorting you by phenotype, what I can give you. Oh, that just hurts to look at the more I see it. Is a taste of the premium cheddar. Okay, so you're gonna want to start out by uh, going invisible and placing a wyvern toxin into the Kool Aid. Then lead. Oh my God, they're Jones towning it. <laughs> oh my God. A <laughs> toast by declaring that we are going to drink until we die. Make sure that Asterion is the one to do it. By the way, we don't need him anymore. Heading inside. <laughs> really just. Oh, dude, that's Oblivion's loading screen, too. Is that more? No. It could be Morrowind. I'm not sure which one. We take care of our first target by following her to a secluded location, summoning a cloud of daggers, and then initiating verbal exchange, locking Seriously? her into our conversation while she is slowly stabbed to death. This isn't considered a crime, by the way, because, well, they could just walk out. Just don't hit a piece of wood while you're doing that, because then you're not going to be killed for assault. The gaming is coded in such a way that you can cast a spell, have them walk in there, and just because they're in a conversation tree, they just keep taking the damage? That sounds incredibly abusable, and I want to do it. You're going to be killed for destruction of property. The next trick we're going to do is called Minthara Skip, because we are going to be summoning a random spectator to skip to the end of Minthara's life. Just pray to God Damn. go down easily, because uh, the spectator certainly will. Oh, you have to Finally, fight it then. we have our third target. Dro Wait, what did that say? Drawer? Me teaching goblins the doctrines of Christ. It's Drawer <laughs> Rasglin, who is slightly hard to kill the conventional way. So Why? instead of that, we're going to do something significantly harder. I know, really original strategy packs. Animals are so fucking funny! Another, it. Welcome to the Underdark, Spectator. home of the uh, spectator boss fight. Oh! Because yes, in addition to having a giant underground area filled with <laughs> interesting flora and fauna, Baldur's Gate 3 dare... Wait, what did that say? Dying combat, dying game push, dying clicking new spell without reading. If you're so powerful, why don't you do it? Yeah, no, that one's just pretty much how you play the game. Who reads spells? <laughs> this is what dying's for. He dares to ask the question of what if people in the Underdark had a different skin color to me? And completely unrelated to that, what if there was a lot of slavery? Because it is this very slavery that we are going to take advantage of. In I mean, the more you learn about the Drugar, the more you find out it's as fucked up as you think, plus a little more. Also, it's very canonical. They are horrible that way. Immediately upon entering the world's basement, you're gonna wanna head over to the uh, Mushroom Kingdom. And uh, what? you're gonna get a letter telling you that the princess is now a permanent guest at one of Bowser's seven Koopa hotels. <laughs> Talking to the giant mushroom, you're gonna have to explain to him how reanimating the bodies of dead velociraptors is technically not a war crime. But what I'm going to use the- You have velociraptor mushroom infested necromancy. As an option. Makes great use of fungus, natural locomotion. Is that a mod or did this just happen to exist in the game already? And honestly, I'm leaning towards it's probably something that just exists. Some four is definitely a war crime. And after playing a game of Pokemon with the corpses that your enemies reanimated, we steal their boats and progress down the river towards the Iron Fortress of Grimforge. Yeah. Join the child labor war on the side of child labor. Oh, God. 
This place fucking sucks, right, Derek. I'm gonna kill that. myself. Don't do that. Welcome it's a bad to idea. Grimforge, home to many different kinds of people, whether they're enslaved or enslaving. You uh, really only have two options here in the Grimforge. Eavesdropping in on the local Minecraft Let's Play. We overhear yeah. rumors of an ancient and powerful explosive, which will purchase my child labor at least 30 minutes of Roblox time. And after gently ascertaining the location from their bodies, we carefully oh, confiscate the nuclear dead. weapon using a refined negotiation tactic Kill where I lie to them. Now equipped with the most powerful bomb in the oh! <laughs> Rune powder barrel, very rare, 50 to 120 damage. D10 plus 10D8 plus 40 force. Oh, no mysticism, smoke powder. You literally just got a bomb. Most bomb in the game. We are presented with a choice. We can either use this bomb to help the gnome slaves finally achieve their freedom, or we can use it to kill Jor Rasglin. Seriously? So, going back to the goblin camp. So they went back to the camp, stole the bomb. Oh experimentation. That Jor Rasglin doesn't actually die to the bomb that I just Seriously? Placed. So, um, into the hole you go, I guess. And they threw him. How so they beat him by throwing him in a hole. <laughs> Again, further proof, fall damage is the greatest enemy of every RPG. You will quickly and efficiently speedrun the goblin camp. Make sure to subscribe for more uh, convenient time saves. Peter, what are you doing? Wow. Funny what the fuck? Okay, so the point I'm trying to get across, uh, this is insane. Really badly, is that this game is utterly massive, and it absolutely <laughs> does not stop you from destroying it. Because in Baldur's Gate 3, every single mistake you can possibly make is going to come up again and one second i'm just trying to block out everything he just had on the screen for the last five seconds because i don't want that in my head there were things i wasn't expecting and that was one of them and i'm not sure what i'm expecting more because I, there was nothing i just kind of blacked out for a bit what was that that yeah, move that's probably not important and uh most of the time it is in the form of racial conflict for instance do you want to be a good samaritan and free the deep gnomes from their unjust imprisonment well congratulations you just happened to free the deep gnome clan's grand wizard i hope you're ready for a race war in 20 hours because oh, uh, damn. if you happen to misplace a certain bomb then uh he's going to happen to make hiroshima look like a fucking joke so did he know that it would do this in advance? Personally, <laughs> this kind of stuff is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Not the racism part, although that is still funny, but rather the simple joy of knowing that your save file has probably already been destroyed without you even knowing it. Since how? Wait, how many save files did he have? 142! What? No, how do you have that? I'm sorry. I freak out when I have five save files because of you know, used to old games where if you had 10, you would fill it up the card. I'm dating myself horribly here. Doing it. Don't worry. This is incredibly easy to organize. Yeah. By number. Since beginning the long process of making this video, I have made a multiplayer warlock <sighs> named Risley Bear alongside my friends Reese and Nomer Simpson and and that one just looked painful. After playing for approximately 10 minutes, I can confirm that my first character inadvertently killed almost everyone he spoke to. And about a half of the time, the reverse was true. A good example of this is the time that I just so happened to wander my character into a literal god who then- Wait, seriously? Actual Lich Queen of Githyanki, Val Valkith, also racist like everyone else in the entire game. Yeah, that that's kind of a thing. They're all kind of horrible. Who then offered me a pivotal and important... Wait, seriously? If you smell toast, you might be having a stroke. A stroke of luck, that is. It's toast time. Important quest. Caught my son sharing frogs on the computer. Sent his ass to Fight Club in Brazil. Let's see if his friends... Friends? Uh can help him against Manuel the Eater. Manuel the Eater. Prompting me to raise the reasonable inquiry that if she was a god, surely she would be able to kill anyone she wanted. I just think a real god could kill whoever she wants. Basically just roasting f- <laughs> Valkith accidentally. 
she responded by fucking vaporizing me. <laughs> Overall, Damn. this is in every sense of the word a role playing game. Provided, of course, you want to role play as a uh, dumbass, dumbass murder goblin. I mean, does anyone play D&D &D differently? And that's not even a joke. We all know if you've played D&D &D more than once, this is the default. Let's do dumb shit. Oh shit, the DM is now painfully mad at us. Let's do it again. That is the standard experience. It's not even a joke. It's a legitimate statement of fact. Otherwise, uh, why do you even play video games? We blow shit up in this motherfucker. Better take your sensitive ass back to LinkedIn. With scores of amazing and deep content that I unintentionally locked myself out of because we accidentally killed a man named Bingus Bongus. Seriously? A fucking real one. The strategic and oh, you can lock yourself out. And an entire world of possibilities and solutions, which will leave you wondering. Why? How the fuck am I the allowed to do this? Sheep. Is this a glitch or intended behavior? What? Yes. Wait, what did that just say? Stealth failed, stealth failed. I'm just gonna go back a bit. How the fuck am I allowed to do this? Is what this a sheep? glitch yeah. or intended And it said something here. What do you put up? Game lags. Oh. Yes. So, while I didn't get to cover everything since, uh, I'm only human, you can trust- What? I can't even- Oh, he's making a joke of how many different things he puts over the screen, so he's putting multiple things over You can other. trust me when I say that there is something in this game for everybody. 10 out of 10 <laughs> would unleash no Hitler again. For me, though, I would like to thank all of my amazing patrons, using and sacrificing their funding for only the finest of videos- Is that Helldivers? I thought that was from 40k at first. Game content. As always, what? more deranged gotcha game videos to come. I will be sure to spend all of your money very responsibly. What game is oh that? yeah, this video is about Baldur's Gate 3. I think we have reached that weird point where a game has become so incredibly weird that it's actually competing with some of the other videos Max or had done with the least amount of editing he needed to put in for the same level of insanity as some of his other videos where there is nothing but jump cut after jump cut after jump cut. The stuff he has on screen is insane, and I'm not sure, did he mod that? Did he edit that? Or is that just something he made up? Or is this in-game? And oftentimes, I think a lot of those might have just been in-game because it does seem like Baldur's Gate 3 is crazier than I realized. And I knew it was crazy. I've played a little bit of it. I need to get back into that, so I'll probably go do that now and lose track of all time and maybe freak out tomorrow morning because I spent the entire day playing the game after I watched this video. It's going to be a problem. I'm aware of it. I'm still going to do it. Self-control, what are the... Yeah. Joking aside, though, like I'm actually joking about that, I really enjoyed this. I like what he did, and I really wonder, is he going to go back and make some later game videos about this? Is this going to be the one time he does this? Or will he just get randomly sucked into this and think, uh, I need to record this to justify why I played this game more? Admittedly, I kind of hope he does, because I want to see just how shitty and insane this can get when he goes even further into the mod hole. Might not be the best way to describe that. But all the maybe joking aside, you guys know the idea. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. And whenever the next video for Maxor comes out, let me know, because I just... YouTube, I think, might have recommended this to me once after I already knew it was out because someone on my Discord told me. And if they hadn't told me, I would have looked for it. Yeah. For everyone who did tell me, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.